Letting people know I do parkour can be a dangerous thing and typically elicits one of two reactions. First, the blank stare of somebody who has no idea what parkour is. And second, the blank stare of somebody who thinks I'm batshit crazy and is wondering whether I have an adequate insurance policy. <laughs> now, let's pretend for a moment that you're the first. What is this parkour thing anyways? In a nutshell, parkour is getting from A to B in a fast, efficient way through a maze that has walls and rails and other sorts of obstacles in between. Be it vaulting over an obstacle instead of going over, or jumping off a 10-foot wall onto concrete, or just hopping over a man-made puddle, the goal remains the same. Get from A to B in a fast, fluid, and hopefully safe way. But there's not everybody who takes this MO when they're doing urban athletics. Enter freestyle running, or free running for short. Free runners sacrifice a utility for creativity and efficiency for expression to create an art form out of everything. And that's not really to say that free running is just parkour with flips. There's a whole arsenal of athletic tools that they can use, like martial arts or breakdancing or even skateboarding, to really craft their own style. So, definition of parkour, check. The next question I get is why? Why work out by flinging yourself at cement and jumping off of things when I can just as easily go to the gym? After all, I'm not trying to be a professional stunt double. As a matter of fact, probably the least thing from it. I'm a law student. I work, I read, I read some more, I spontaneously cry sometimes. <laughs> but when I'm stressed, parkour acts as my own kind of fight club, only with the pain coming from cement and not somebody else's fist. Through parkour, I'm able to literally overcome the obstacles of my environment, to conquer the confines of my urban environment, and discover a little bit of inner zen in the process. And I'm not alone. Parkour is huge both nationally and internationally, from Miami to LA to Egypt to Singapore. The next question is, how do we foster that community in Arizona? My group's answer is with structure. Founded in, founded in ninjutsu, my team, the Flow Ninjas, treats parkour less like a ragtag group of guys jumping over stuff, and more like a martial art. When see, people see parkour, they think of video games and movies, people jumping off really tall buildings like Ezio or jumping over moving cars, and then they end up in the hospital. What we do instead is we make parkour safe, accessible for all ages. And I do mean all ages. Here we see four, the five foot tall, 12 year old Cole Blunt jumping over a four foot tall cement obstacle doing something called dash fall. I've seen athletes, you know, almost twice a side, not really, but anyways, the struggle of that maneuver. So we begin and ev end every session by saying, as we flow through parkour, we persevere in life. And that's one way of showing unity as a team, or more than just a team, we're a family. So over the past three years, we've become kind of an outreach collective. We invite people to come in, whatever their skill, if none. You know, if you can teach us something, teach us. If you know nothing, we'll teach you. So that's what we do. We get people excited about parkour. We teach them the basics. What we need now are facilities. And Arizona right now doesn't really have any of those. If you go to California, you'll see those. If you go to France. But we do have some starts. Earlier this year, Movement Connections Park was opened up as a community effort to just have something in someone's backyard. And now a Scottsdale studio is planning on making an indoor parkour gym, the first one, that should be open in the next year or two. Needs to say, my team is stoked. So, when it comes down to it, parkour is more than just some, like, hobby. It's really a lifestyle, and people get really into it. And for me, it's all about that kid inside. I still wanna run around, climb trees, jump over riverbanks, and just scamper to and fro until my lungs breathe fire. Now, not everyone can do parkour, and parkour can be pretty dangerous if you don't have proper training. But everyone has a kid inside of them, yearning to be played with. Go out and play. Thank you.